This is Brand USA Talks Travel, a new five minute podcast to elevate the conversation concerning international travel to the United States. Here's your host, Mark Lapidus. On our previous podcast, we spoke briefly about the late Marriott CEO, Arnie Sorensen, but we ran out of time. So in this episode, we're asking Brand USA President and CEO Chris Thompson to reflect on Arnie's leadership. Chris, what did Arnie Sorensen mean to you and to the travel industry? Well, as, as you often tell me, we have five minutes for a podcast. I think I could go on talking for five hours, but uh, let's try to keep it uh, short and to the point. All I can say, and I'll start by saying, there's a reason why he was the first person without the Marriott surname to run Marriott. I always talk about the institution of a CEO with any organization. There's certain responsibilities and certain ways people look at it. So he fulfilled that in every way possible. But then in every way, he manifested what that meant for Marriott and what that meant uh, for Marriott in the in the business world. He was iconic. And uh, one of those CEOs that was re- just respected, one that was courageous, and one that wasn't afraid to inform decisions in ways they need to be informed. If you look at the growth of Marriott under his tenure, and actually his fingerprints were on it before then, because I think he, was, he came in as merger and acquisitions guy and then worked his way up to be the CEO. Uh, his fingerprints are all over where Marriott, Marriott is today. Arnie was one of the best extemporaneous speakers I think I've ever seen. He just had an unbelievable quality when it came to connecting with people. I, and I think all of the board, his fellow board members would be able to attest to this. And he did it time after time after time. He'd sit through a board meeting, and we all know that the best quality you can have is be a listener. So Arnie was a master at that. He would sit back and listen to a debate, listen to a decision, a conversation about a decision. And then when it was time for him to step in, he would... First of all, he'd frame it, frame what he heard, offer insights that nobody had offered yet, and then all along inspire you while he's doing it. And I looked at him every time he ever did that in small ways and large ways and go, how the hell do you do that? I said, that is a gift. If he, if he ran his company that way, and if he otherwise had business and personal, personal relationships in that regard, that's why everybody loved Arnie Sorensen, because everybody wants to be inspired. I only had the pleasure of speaking to him a few times, but when I did, I felt like there was a personal connection. Did he have the effect on everybody? And I can only speak to my personal experience with that. But when, I, when he came to our board, I was a relatively new CEO. We were a startup organization, and we really were in real need for board leadership and in general, and then board leadership of the board. And he filled both those roles. Uh, we would not be where we are today if it weren't for the way that Arnie stepped into those roles. Now, I'll give you a perfect example. Here I am sitting in my apartment by myself on one Sunday. My phone rings. I look down and it says Arnie Sorensen. And I'm going, wow. I picked the phone up. He goes, Chris, I just landed at Dulles for, uh, coming in from China. Just call and check on you. See how you're doing. I said, well, first of all, Arnie, the fact I'm even on your radar screen really <laughs> was impressive. And I said, but I'm good right now. But it's nice to know that if I need you, that uh, you'd be there. And that's just the way he was. As chair, I, I would say I need some check-ins. And he said, as long as you come to campus up in Bethesda, he said, I'll give you all the time I can give you. And I'd go up and invariably we'd sit down over breakfast for an hour. So a guy that's running the largest hospitality company in the world, for him to be that committed, that dedicated. I remember the first time I met him as the chair. Uh, He was at a U.S. travel board meeting. He walked up and he introduced himself. He said, Chris, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Arnie Sorensen. I said, yeah, Arnie, I know you. (laughs) And he said, I was wondering if I could have 45 minutes of your time. I remember that number specifically. I said, of course you can. You're the the boss. And he made this statement to me. He goes, I look forward to understanding what a destination marketing organization is and particularly how you apply that at the national level. But here's what I'll tell you, my first thought. He said, we could spend $100 or we could spend $100 million. But if we don't let the world know they're welcome, we're wasting our money. That's a perfect example of Arnie Sorensen. Here's a guy that I just met personally, just coming on our board, admitting that he le- he needs to learn what a DMO does. And he made a profound statement that today is a pillar of what we're all about, which is we, we need to let the world know they're welcome and just remind them of why they love the USA. In a simple statement, he did that for us. Did you have a chance to say goodbye? I didn't didn't you know it happened so fast i i I don't think any of us really had a chance to say goodbye to arnie when i had the chance to be there at the national cathedral at his memorial i think that was what are the however many levels of grief or uh you know you have to have that opportunity to be able to say goodbye and so that was a good way for us to say goodbye i know that this was quite an emotional topic for you chris so i appreciate you taking the time to talk with us about it today thanks mark 
So we're out of time. Five minutes goes by quickly. We hope you'll subscribe to this new podcast. And when you do so, you'll get a notification each time a new episode is released. We are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Pandora, and wherever else you get your podcasts. I'm Mark Lapidus. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to ask a question or make a comment, email us at podcast at thebrandusa.com or call 202-793-6256. Our producer is Asher Mirovich, who also writes and performs all music and sound. Engineering by Brian Watkins. Be sure and let your friends in the travel industry know about this podcast.